Hey guys, I'm Scott Burdy with National Brewing Company. Many of you know that we focus on brewing traditional German lagers. Today we're going to talk about Martin beer, more specifically National Fest beer. And this particular beer that we brew is a Martin style beer. Martin is German for March. And there's a lot of history why it's called that. So let's step back really about a thousand years and go back to the Middle Ages when brewing was being done in Central Europe, and they were not allowed to brew in the summer months. And there are two reasons really why they weren't. The main reason was, uh, well, one reason was because of, of the, the fire hazards. Um, all the brew kettles were done at that time by fire, and, and um, you know, various villages and stuff got burned down because of that. Now, the second reason is really the more important reason, and this has to do with the bacteria growth that would occur in warmer weather. Again, they didn't have microscopes then. They really didn't know what was going on with the yeast, but they knew that beer would start tasting bad rather quickly in the warmer months. So ultimately what happened, what Germany did, or the areas that became Germany, they started setting these, these brewing laws. And originally at this time in the Middle Ages is all the, the monks and monasteries that were brewing, but going into the 1500s, it started to be more commercial brewing. So they started setting these quality laws, and one of those was not allowed to brew in the summer months. So what resulted from that was they would brew all during their brewing season, which was from the fall into the spring, and that beer they would brew and, and they would drink off of, and everyone in the community used to drink, and that was called new beer. They referred to new beer. Then in March, at the end of the brewing season, they would brew large batches of beer, that they would store in caves. Later, they would dig out cellars or kellers, and but they would be packed with ice, and they would store that beer all summer long to preserve it, because the cooler weather certainly preserves beer and prevents that bacterial growth. And that was referred to as the old beer. So in the fall, they would well they would drink that old beer throughout the summer season. In the fall, they would really just kind of drink the rest of the old beer to make room for the new beer, and that's really how Oktoberfest started, long before the 1810 wedding of Prince Ludwig and Teresa. They would have these fall harvest festivals and celebrate and drink all this old beer, to make room for the new beer in the beer cellars. Meanwhile, throughout the centuries, this beer, at this time, all beer was, was ale. And it was using particular yeast, um, just a natural airborne yeast that what we know today is ale yeast. And uh, they would, um, you know, the, the beer would be brewed using this natural yeast that everyone, you know, now we know is air yeast. But at the time, no one really knew. We didn't have a microscope. But in the cooler weather, in these, you know, Bavaria region, in these caves that were iced down, through survival of the fittest, those ale yeasts start dying off because they really couldn't propagate in, in the cooler temperatures. But another type of yeast was and it would take much longer, but it would eat those sugars and create alcohol, and it created a different type of beer, a, a crisper beer that we know today as lagers. And lager is German to age or to store. So that's where that term came from. They were lagering that beer during the summer months, and ultimately it became, and again, this was you know, decades and through centuries, became lager beer. The first real reference of, of lager beer as a style came out in the 1400s. And then by the 1500s, it really was adapted throughout the whole Bavarian region. It became a true style of beer, and that was the yeast that they were using rather than the ale yeast. So that's, that's what the old beer is, what we know today as lager beer, which the lager yeast is what we think of as a newer style of, of, of beer, a newer, newer style of yeast. But, it was derived from the old beer that they would store or lager during those summer months. So Martin beer really didn't come about until the mid to late 1800s. And prior to that, all beer was dark beer. In Germany, we call it dunkel beer. 
it was just a much darker beer. And then in the uh, mid 1800s, several German brewers traveled to England because there were some brewers in England in the late 17, early 1800s that started doing a paler beer. And that came about through the Industrial Revolution and they developed a kilning method for uh, drying out when they were malting the, the barley rather than a, you know, using fire and stuff that made it dark and smoky. So this kilning method gave, gave, you know, resulted in paler molds. And that's where pale ale and ultimately IPAs came about. So there are several German brewers in the 1840s that wanted to learn about this method. So they traveled to England and brought that method back. Some say they borrowed it or they stole that method. But regarding, regardless, they brought it back in an 1840-1841 brewing season that winter. The first pale, pale, I should say pale, but the paler style of lager came about, and that was a Vienna lager that we know today. Vienna lager came about, and it was an amber color of uh, beer, which was much lighter than than the, the Dunkels that you know was the, the more common beer at, at that time. And then the next year, 1842, in the Czech Republic in Pilsen, that's where the Pilsner style came about. So then that became the huge rage, these, these lighter lagers between the Vienna lager and the, the Pilsner lager. But it wasn't until the 1870s that the Martin beer came about. This is a Munich malt beer. Again, it's, it's a paler malt. It's amber color. It's not a real light beer, but you can see it's an amber color. Just a fantastic multi flavor. But that came about in the 1870s and ultimately became the beer that we know of today that is served at Oktoberfest in Munich. Now, that Oktoberfest really came about, I mentioned that they would have these fall festivals for centuries, but in 1810, King Ludwig's son, Prince Ludwig, was getting married to a woman named Teresa. And what happened was King Ludwig invited all the commoners of the Munich region to attend this wedding, a big outdoor wedding celebration. It's very uncommon at the time to have non-nobles attend a wedding like this. But he invited all of them. Uh, I believe there were about 5,000 at the time, which is a very big wedding, uh, certainly in the 1810. But all these commoners came um, and in an area that became known as Trade Supplies. And Trade Supplies to this day is where Oktoberfest is held in Munich ever since 1810, over 200 years. That's the Oktoberfest that we know. And this style of beer, Martzen beer, or as we brew it here, Nashville Fest beer, that's the beer that we know today that is from Oktoberfest. Cheers, and I hope you all enjoy your virtual Oktoberfest.